Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Rodeberg Beauty Aesthetic. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on something I've been seeing out, and that is the Clarisonic Mia 2 The Glow Getter Cleanse and Blend Set. Um, so in this you'll get the Mia 2, which is this one with the cleansing head, and then you get the Sonic Brush Set, which is for your foundation. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into this first impressions. So it comes in this box, like such. Um, I actually think it's a really cute box because it looks all Christmassy and it's glittery. Oh, look at that. That will fix things. I just threw that towards the fireplace. That would have been really bad. So it comes like this. I actually got mine with my initials on them, or actually Shan, it's not my initials. <laughs> um, so special for Christmas, it's usually $204, um, but it's now $169. And then I also got a coupon code, I think through Tati, um, on here on YouTube, and so I got like 20% off. So it was a really good deal. But it comes with the best-selling Mia 2, but also comes with a makeup brush, and that's what I'm gonna try out today. I have already tried the uh, cleansing brush. I actually think it's really great. I know you can't tell by my oily skin, but it's pretty smooth skin. So this is what the makeup brush comes like. Uh, I just. Like, I don't know if I believe it. Um, it's not really that dense, but it is soft. So we'll see, I'm gonna try to put it on. Um, when you put it back on, you're supposed to hold down the like on button for three seconds and it magically can tell which like head you have on the Clarisonic. It's already charged and it has my name on it. Look at that, Shan with little kissy lips. So we are ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna prime my face first. I'm gonna go in with what I always start with. I actually start with this every single day now. It's my Origins Original Skin Matte Moisturizer with Willow Herb. <laughs> so fancy. So you know, I put this all over my face. It just helps me stay matte throughout the day, but still moisturized. Um, and it smells delectable. And then I'll usually put a primer on top where what's gonna help like actually blend out the foundation. So then I think today I'm going to go in with the Ordinary High Adherence Silicone Primer. It's by The Abnormal Company and I really love it. It's really cheap. Um, you have to get it sent to you. I don't think they sell them in any drugstores or um, makeup stores here in the States. But if you buy them online, it's pretty cheap and pretty cheap shipping. And it's probably one of my favorites as you can tell because it's almost empty and I can't get any out of my hands. Oh, I'm going to be honest. My skin feels so smooth right now from using that the Clarisonic to like clean my skin before bed. Not that I had like really horrible skin before, but I can still tell the difference. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna be using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Um, I like this one, I usually mix it with other ones, but I just wanna just try it with one type of foundation. I feel like that'll get the best effects for our first impressions. Um, I have this in Classic Ivory. I am very pale right now, and I dyed my hair gray-ish white, um, as you can tell, and I feel like I need to have even whiter foundation, otherwise it just, I don't know, starts looking weird, the combination of the two. So I'm going to take this, I just took some in the back of my hand, um, we're going to try by first just like putting some on the face and blending it out, and we'll see how that goes. Alright, here we go. Hmm. I feel like there's nothing there. Like it's just, like it just disappeared. It is just gone. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, I can't. So I'm gonna try to dip it in and see if that makes a difference. If it's like actually on the brush. I'll try it on this side of the face. It's kind of prickly on the face when I go over. A little interesting. I really don't know how I feel about this right now. <laughs> Shay just gave me this face. I'm like, oh. <laughs> so I'm thinking she's feeling the way I'm feeling about this. <laughs> I don't know if I'm like doing this wrong. Maybe I'm pushing too hard. Maybe that's it. I'm gonna try a little more. I'm gonna try not to like put so much pressure on it. Maybe that helps. I also heard this is supposed to like 
helps that you don't have to use as much foundation and I just put like a whole other thing of foundation on my hands so like I don't know if that's true. We'll see. All right so I'm just gonna try it with this like lighter touch here. I'm liking it a lot better now that I'm just like really lightly pressing on my face when I was like really trying to buff it in. I think the brush is already buffing it in for you because it's doing that oil vibrating thing. Um, so you're just doing double duty when you're trying to press too hard and that's why it was giving me those bad effects right off the bat. But yeah, I'm kind of liking it. I feel like the more I'm using it, it's starting to blend out very naturally. Um, I think I gave it a bad first impression, but my second impression in the same first impression is going pretty well. I think that's looking real natural, actually. I'm kind of loving this. This is kind of fun. Okay, I changed my mind. <laughs> I, was, I was not liking it. I'm liking it. This is how it's looking. I think it's looking pretty good. Um, I think my first impression of this is actually a good one. I think you have to not press down so hard because obviously it vibrates and it makes when you blend out a lot of times you like try to obviously put in some pressure so it blends out nicely. This is already doing it because it has the vibration going on top. So you just need to really lightly go on your face and then it really nicely blends out this natural look. Let me see, I'm gonna try this also with concealer right now. We'll see how it works with concealer as well. I'm gonna go in with my favorite concealer. It is by Tarte, obviously everybody knows Tarte Shape K. We're gonna go, this one's definitely a thicker concealer though, so I think that'll be interesting to see how this brush works with a much thicker consistency. Also, I don't know how well it will do with like a targeted point, like right under the eye as opposed to just all over the face. So we'll try it out. I'm like really nervous to get this so close to my eye. I feel like it's gonna vibrate out my contact or something. Who knows? Yeah, I probably wouldn't use this for my concealer. I feel like it's tough because it's just, it's, you gotta get close to your eye to blend in the concealer way up top, um, which is a little freaky because it's vibrating so much that you don't want to hurt yourself. Um, oh. So I probably wouldn't recommend this as I continue doing it. I just need to blend it out so I don't look crazy. Okay. All right, so I think that's all I'm gonna use this one for today. I know some people use it to like blend out their contour. I don't really do a cream contour. For the most part, I think I have my first impression down of this. I definitely like it for foundation. I think if you are buying this set, that has the cleansing brush and the makeup brush. It's a great deal, and I would definitely get them together. Um, I'll let you guys know if I think it's worth buying on its own. Um, I do think it is. I really am loving the way my foundation looks. I just feel it looks so natural and nicely blended out right now, and Shay's nodding her head, so I feel like maybe she agrees with me. It looks really good on camera. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I'm just gonna put on the rest of my makeup and then we'll do a final once over of how this looks when everything is done. So I just finished putting on all my makeup. Um, I just feel like it really helped even out my skin tone. It gave it a nice natural look. Um, I think I'll definitely have to keep trying it to see if I can get it to work with less uh, foundation on it. Um, I think that was my fault though. But overall, this is an A freaking plus. So I would get this kit I think the two of them will clean your skin and help put on your skin. <laughs> That's a bad joke. So I would definitely highly recommend.